What's up everyone, welcome back. Today, I'm unboxing for you guys the new Xfinity X5 pods. So this unboxing is going to consist of checking out the product, installing it, and running some tests to see how it works. So these are the X5 pods from Xfinity. This is the second generation ones, the newest ones that came out. The reason why I got these is to uh, make my Wi-Fi signal stronger upstairs and while I'm in the garage. All right, so these X5 pods create like a mesh network in your home to basically give you Wi-Fi coverage in every corner of your home depending on how many of these pods you have plugged in. As you can see, my Wi-Fi router is right over there. Yeah, exactly. You can't see it because it's behind the TV here. Let's pull back this TV. So it's hiding right there. And as you can tell, all this stone around it and the wall, it's making my Wi-Fi signal really weak, especially upstairs. So that was the main reason for me getting this product here. So let's go ahead, unbox it, see what it comes with. We'll go ahead and run a few tests also to see if it actually works. So these don't actually make your Wi-Fi speed faster. They really point that out on their website. What it does, it just creates a mesh network in your home so that you can get connection in every corner of your home. All right, so it comes with three pods. What else comes with? Nothing in here. So. It's a getting started guide in here. Gives you some information. Safety information, warranty. Let's put that to the side. See, getting started tells you how to get these connected. We'll go ahead and do that later. All right, and that's it for this. All you have to do is just plug these into the outlet, wherever your signal is weakest. And with the app, you just connect these, connect these to your account, and they just start to work automatically. You can also hardwire them. So once you get these plugged in and connected to, to your router, you could hardwire whatever device uses an Ethernet cable to this. So you make sure you get your full signal. So let's go ahead, install them, and see how it works. Okay, so before I go ahead and plug these in, I'm gonna go ahead and do a Wi-Fi speed test to see how fast my Wi-Fi is without getting these plugged in. All right, let's go ahead and start test. So this is just straight from my router without the X5 pods plugged in. It's still not bad, even without the X5 pods. All right, so let's get these plugged in and see if that will help me get my full speed advertised from my router. So I went ahead and plugged the first one here, which is right outside the bedrooms, right when you come upstairs. And the second one, I went ahead and plugged it in my room right here. Okay, so after it's plugged in, we'll go to the app and see how to, how to set them up. So before I set them up, I'm just gonna do one more speed test from the Xfinity app to make sure the speeds are accurate. So yeah, speeds are accurate. All right, now let's go ahead and set them up. So once you're on the home page of the Xfinity X5 app, hit your profile up top here, the top left corner, and you scroll down to activate X5 pods. Ours has only one port. Get started. All right, plugged in. That, the reason why we plugged into the in the first area, halfway between the room and the the router. Okay, next, next, and plugged and ready to go. 
All right, so we have it here right next to it. Let's see if it detects. Okay, now it's connecting to the first pod. All right, now you gotta, we have to plug in the next two pods. So while this is loading up, tell me what you guys think about these X5 pods. Do you think they're worth the money? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, so I just plugged in two of the pods. We'll just continue with those two. All right, I guess we have to name them. All right, let's just skip it for now, actually. Don't name pods, all right. Finish setup. Pods are now active. Let's go ahead and do another speed test and see if that actually made any difference. Well, I guess my connection is already good in this room. I'm gonna go ahead and connect this third pod in the garage. In the garage, I have no service at all with my Wi-Fi, and we'll see if this actually works. All right, so I'm here in my garage now. We're gonna go ahead and do the speed test again, this time without being connected to the X5 pods. Just to show you how bad the signal is here. It's half the speed here in the garage. Horrible upload speeds too. Okay, so I have all three pods connected now and I have one connected in this garage right over here. All right, so let's go ahead, test out the connection and see if it actually works. Oh wow, it's even worse. Well, upload is much better. That's weird. Okay, so that was really weird. The download speeds just dropped big time, but the upload speeds went up. All right, let's go ahead and try it through the XFi app and see if that's accurate. Horrible. Okay, so I'm gonna move the first one that I connected more towards the garage to see if that'll actually help. I had him brought the main pod closer to the garage. To see, all right. Damn. Okay, so all three devices are connected again. Let's try a speed test, see how it works. Somewhat helped a little, bringing the main one downstairs. Wow. Okay. Okay, so I was standing over there doing a test behind all these boxes. And that's when my download speeds dropped. So I went ahead and moved here away from the boxes. And we'll go ahead and try the speed test again. See if that makes any difference. And as you can see, just because I was behind these boxes here, I couldn't get signal from the pod. So you just got to make sure it's clear. Right, it's a huge difference. Let's go back here again and try it. As you can see, just be, being behind these boxes affects the speed. So you gotta make sure that the X5 pod is clear. So in conclusion, I think these pods I mean, they're not, they're not bad. The only reason why I got them, just to put in my garage, and it really helped out a bit. But that's about it. I didn't really need it inside of my house. And it really depends on your house size. Okay, so that's it for today's unboxing. If you guys enjoyed what you watched, please don't forget to like the video. Go ahead, leave a comment what you guys think about this product. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching. Until next time.